The gentleman from Alabama is recognized. I continue to reserve. The gentleman from Alabama reserves. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm pleased to yield uh, a minute and a half uh, to the gentlewoman from Florida, Ms. Wasserman Schultz. The gentlewoman from Florida is recognized. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to thank Chairman Smith for yielding and for his steadfast leadership in equipping our nation to face unprecedented challenges at home and abroad. And I also want to thank Ranking Member Rogers for his role in bringing a bipartisan NDAA to the floor. I rise in support of my amendment requiring a joint briefing from the Army and Air Force on the lack of a child care center to serve Camp Bull Simons at Eglin Air Force Base. After hearing the stories of families stationed there, it is clear we need to add transparency to a process that has left our service members and their families behind. These brave men and women make immense sacrifices to protect and serve our nation. The least we can do is make sure that they do not have to stress about affordable and accessible child care while deployed or on assignment. Currently, the closest government-run CDC, a benefit our service members are entitled to, would add an average of four hours per day to a parent's commute. And the options that the services are proposing to remedy the situation for those families are wholly inadequate. As chair of the Milcon VA Appropriations Subcommittee, I understand the value of child development centers and quality of life issues for our service members. I offered this bipartisan amendment with my colleagues, Representatives Castor, Hudson, and Gates, to help find a solution that meets the standard of care that we must deliver for our military families. I thank the chairman for including this amendment in the end block, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Washington thank reserves. You. The gentleman